So now let's display the temperature just below this. So I will go here and just after this image, I will create a P tag or paragraph tag inside that or you can style it any way you want. I'm just <laughs> styling in my way. So giving a class of display one, I think I like display one and then I need to use these brackets and then we need to give the temperature which we can get from here so let's see do we have the page yeah page weather app weather main and temp weather main temp so remember this weather dot main dot temp save this and again the same problem so i should go to the server side very soon but let's say dot main okay so just moving that whatever you define you can say main you can say weather dot weather or weather dot anything the point is we just need to show this whenever we have the data on weather data okay so this is in fahrenheit so how we can change from fahrenheit to and it's not in fahrenheit actually it's in kelvin so how we can change from kelvin to uh, celsius and here comes my physics knowledge and because i was the physics teacher also so one degree celsius or actually zero degree is 273 kelvin so we need to subtract 273 from this uh, number and then we will get the celsius so yes you can directly say Kelvin or Fahrenheit you want to convert if you want but I'm going to convert it to uh, what what I said uh, to Celsius and to convert it we need to go here and instead of this directly temp I will cut this out and I will create a method called temp and inside this just inside the method temp temp go here and this is going to return this dot weather dot and again once we we need to check whether dot main is there or not then i will say this dot weather dot uh, main dot temp if it is there then this is good otherwise giving nothing now again because we are doing that we don't need v if so you can see v if is not actually necessary but uh, as we move to the server side it will be good okay so it's having the same thing so we need to subtract it so this minus 273 and if i do this oh ho, we are having some difficulties because why we have this equal to sign Ooh, <laughs> we have long list of after decimal numbers so what we can do simply we can say math dot round and round off so this means it's now 11 degree so what we need to do next we just need to say it's 11 degree celsius 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 or celsius uh, <laughs> so it's celsius 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 <laughs> tongue twister okay so let's go here and just after that i will say degree celsius but how we will say the degree sign before the celsius so there is a code which is hash 176 and then colon uh, semicolon actually so save this file and then actually we need to give i think and is there also yeah and hash 176 so like this and we are having this degree so now 11 degree celsius and if you don't know you can simply say degree html code woohoo we get that so we are having this degree code but yeah this is the one or you can simply say and dig so and and deg let's see yeah it's the same so this is how you can show the temperature or actually formatted temperature in the next episode move to the next system till then goodbye